Welcome back traders and in this video we're going to be going over kind of a news flash here bringing you up to speed on Goldingo and this coin situation that we have going on here which could possibly be introduced for Pokemon Day which is going to be on the 26th of this month as well as some other information. We got detailed stats for Double Iron Bash which is going to be Melmetal's signature move. All right now taking a look at the sparkly lure, sparkly incense which is going to be a uh, a chest with some coins on it. I don't know what's going on with that, but we've seen it before. Possibly speculating that it's going to pull out shiny Pokemon, <laughs> but it probably is going to be aligning with this Goldingo deal that we do have going on here in this Gimme Ghoul. All right, so we got the sprites here as well. Uh, I would assume that maybe that's their shiny. It just hasn't actually been implemented into the game. Who knows? Just ignore those names. <laughs> 10 frames per second mon, that's a gimme ghoul, and then PS2 graphics, that is uh, Goldingo. Goldingo name, that, what is that? Sounds like um, some sort of Australian animal. <laughs> the dingo, Goldingo, what, is, what the hell is this thing? It's so weird. The designs are starting to get a little bit crazy for Pokemon, honestly. Okay, moving it on here, we're going to be seeing some other assets for future events we got the festival of colors which is going to be that event i do believe in india shout out to all my brothers and sisters in india uh and you know the whole entire people were like yeah it's not fair but there's all these events around the world that i could never go to like i can't fly to india <laughs> come on I can't fly to Japan just on a whim, right? So taking a look at Double Iron Bash. All right, I got my Mel Metal stash. I got this level 50 Meltan ready to go. How is it going to be introduced? Is it going to be a raid day? Is it going to be an evolution day? Is it going to be, I don't think, a community day? So probably a raid day or an event where they just say, evolve your Meltans and get Double Iron Bash. Something like that. So taking a look, PvP power 50 energy, 35 PvE. Gyms and Raids is going to be 70 power and 40 energy. All right, so this is looking like a Dragon Claw clone. So it's not going to be necessarily like, um, like I was saying, Meteor Mash, but instead it is going to be a Steel type stab move that's going to be able to be spammed by Melmetal, which is already great. Now drop your Rock Slide and forget it. It's, it's I mean, you're good. You're going, you're going to probably want to run uh, Super Power still. So double iron bash superpower, but then Thundershock is the only quick move it has, which is going to be spamming so freaking quickly. Now, before this all goes down, you maybe want to, you know, open up that Meltan box. If you don't have a Switch, you don't need it. You just have to download Pokemon Home and then connect them, transfer Pokemon over, and you're going to be good to go. You'll be able to open that box every, I do believe, three days. And they do turn on and off the shinies for Meltan, so don't expect to find one. They actually have to tell us that hey they're activated and then you're going to be able to get those shiny meltan not really big difference in the shiny but you know, collectors out there i get it so this is looking great i mean this is subject to change but we're looking at like a dragon claw type esque clone <laughs> that's going to be nutty taking a look at some more stuff here that we do have lined for probably pokemon day and that's give me ghoul costume stuff and then stickers and then some more assets and i'm not 100 percent sure what those are I'm not going to dig too deep just going to go ahead and show you those images and if you do like these news flash videos please give it a thumbs up it really does help me out taking a look at the fantasy cup which is going to looks like be the next season for go battle league so fairy dragon and steel what is this what the hell is this is bassadon cup Steel's going to dominate. It takes over Fairy. It takes over Dragon. I don't get it. And then Fairy takes over Dragon and loses a Steel. Dragon takes over nothing. <laughs> what is this cup? The screwed over Dragon Cup? All right. And then, of course, we do have the Hoenn Tour Worldwide, which is going to be going down February 25th until the 26th, 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. local time. So yeah, if you're doing the master research, I mean, I'm not going to get into that. you got to catch a bunch of Pokemon, and it doesn't really revolve around this. Antic was saying, they say, just you do it. <laughs> Antic, you don't even know what you su should suggest you do yourself. Take a look at the different biomes that you can expect here. Personally, the one that I liked the most when I was in Vegas was going to be the Earth. Uh, I do like the Sands as well because of the Cacnea. I still need that Shiny, so I am going to be really paying attention to those when it is uh, live for me as well. My least favorite was going to be the Shores. That's just personal preference, right? You could love the Shores the most. So, yeah, just letting you know. Primal Groundlings, of course. And then a whole heck of a lot of new Shinies. Uh, Tropius, Relicant, and the Torkoal are not going to be in the wild. Those are only going to be in eggs. Okay, that's... There was... I don't know if they ever stated that. They did come out with a statement. I'm not going to put it up on screen, but they did clarify that it is only going to be an egg. So, go ahead and start buying them up, folks. And uh, thank you very much for lining our pockets. And... Uh, 
good luck on hatching one of those shinies. Even though you spent all that money, you're probably still not going to get one. I personally got a Torkoal, so I'm happy. I'm just running my mouth here. And then if you have your different, various different Pokemon and eggs, so good luck if you're going to be going down that route. Alright, so they are going on to say that there's a 50% chance for the spawns to be of the events. Okay, when the confetti is activated. And uh, some other nonsense here, which you can never go by it completely because who knows what they have down the line. They can never get their game straight here. You're going to be getting extra XL candy and an and, and extra, a extra XL candy, okay? When you do catch Groudon and Kyogre. So get to it, folks. Let's get it. Now, I personally do want... Kyogre raids. I'm pretty much done with Groudon, but I'll still do them. Your best counters are going to be water. It is going to be ground and fire. You have Kyogre Primal, of course, then pri uh, regular Primal, or the <laughs> regular, regular Kyogre, Gyarados, Swampert, for alligator, so on and so on and so on, and you have your Mega Swampert, Mega Blastoise, Shadow Swampert, Shadow Gyarados, Shadow for alligator, right? So... Go ahead and put in the work. You definitely want to get that energy. You're only getting 80 to 90 energy per raid, which is rah. It's just whack. What the hell is going on here? Okay, whatever. You already know what it is. They want you to raid harder. Kyogre, weak to grass. You have Katana, Zekrom, Zergatry, Zarud, and so on. So get out there and go to town, folks. If you did enjoy this news flash video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care, good luck on getting that energy, and try not to spend too much money. <laughs> Take care. Where you can't, don't. Even if everyone is telling you that something wrong is something right. Even if the whole world is telling you to move. It is your duty to plant yourself like a tree. Look them in the eye and say no. You move. <laughs>